And it's but out of time, it has 2.5 million. How's that go, go again? Uh, let's see. I'm going to... Interesting put, pick putting Tyler on there. Because like, I like Tyler, but I don't think that... His features are always kind of like that. His features are weak, dude. Like yeah. you don't have to put your friends on the song, bro. Like they'll still be your friends. Yeah, and it always like, kind of like, it's a little bit like a speed bump in the record usually. I don't think he's ever had a good future feature on one of his songs. They're just like meh. Yeah, They're just mid. Maybe maybe they try to make it more appealing to a mass audience, but I don't think any of his features are ever like singles. Like the Kendrick one, which I can't really picture in my head sonically. Um, I was like, okay. I kind of like, I feel like when the artists really work together to make a cohesive sound, sound instead of making it sound like, hey, email me this when you're done. That's very, that's basic. I think that's the, the, the calling card of the weekend features on albums. There is. <laughs> That sucks. I don't think yeah. he does that, but like it sounds like that. Yeah. Um, cause he did a song with Juice World that I think he did after Juice World died, and it sounds beautiful. Like it sounded like they were they like, went on a retreat for five years and really got what to is, know each other. Was it rappy? Uh, it wasn't that rappy. It was more singy. That's what I'm saying. I think he picks rappers, and then he has to like make a, a four by four beat, and he like doesn't have like cool like orchestras. Yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of like the the Lil Wayne one. I didn't. Yeah, it was. I think it. I think it was a little above mid for me. Tyler's um, was just short, and it was just like you could have like done more instead of say the same line four times at the end. 